Hello my wonderful pear bears. Let's recap ourselves on the rules for generation one of the whimsy challenge. We of course have to max out the handiness, fabrication and the wellness skills. I did throw a few more in with the knitting, gardening and so on for the parenting. In the last episodes we have of course had a baby daughter which we named Lily. And as we go through the next couple of episodes, we're going to find out that Lily is actually going to be our Generation 2 Sim. She's a beautiful little infant, isn't she? In the next couple of episodes, we're going to see an age up, new pregnancies, and of course us expanding our minds and becoming the best parent that we possibly can, and hopefully expanding our micro home to a tiny home in due course. So let's recap on the basic rules for our wonderful generation one of our beautiful Daisy. Our beautiful Daisy is going to be playing out our first generation. So let's get on to the rules. Without a home, but not without love. Your story begins as most stories do with endurance. You're homeless. You've gone on out into the world with nothing but a tent and a dream. As a child, you never had your own home. You were bounced from place to place, always dreaming of a suburban home to call your own, with a family of your very own. As you have since you were a young child, you long for a life of normality. You are tired of everything around you being turbulent and broken, so you search for the joy in the mundane. Life is only, is lonely at first, but fortunately you find love with another hum homeless sim, our beautiful ex. You have nothing, but it feels like absolutely everything when you have your partner by your side. You are a carefree, nature-loving and naive dreamer. Some may call you a hippie, but you just call yourself happy. From the ground up, you create You create everything from candles, you fabricate your own furniture and search dumpsters to make it by. Eventually, you have a home of your own, built by your own two hands. A tiny home. Not only is this a tiny home, but it's a superb tiny home, and your dream is finally realised. You will stay in this comfy, small, shoebox size home for the rest of your life, growing in your garden and raising your children and selling the things you make for an income at the local markets, which we still have to do. You find love while you're homeless. You name all your children after nature. Most live in a suburban styled tiny home that you build cheap free for their entire life, a micro home for young adulthood, and afterwards we can upgrade. Foster a healthy garden, plant parent which means you fill your house full of plants which we're doing have at least three tattoos she has four master the fabrication handiness or wellness skills we have maxed handiness at this moment and we are working on wellness and fabrication have love outdoors and freaking traits and i also gave her the master maker complete maker aspiration be self-employed with the freelance simply crafted career which we are and rarely wear makeup and love to dress casually, which we do. I am absolutely loving Generation 1 at the moment and I cannot wait until we get to Generation 2. And I guys, I hope you are enjoying the Whimsy Challenge. So let's get into the next episode. Hello my wonderful pair bears. Welcome back to another episode of our Whimsy Challenge. I hope you are all having an absolutely amazing day. A few things have changed since we uh, last recorded um we have of course we've had um our first baby which we named lily Um, it is also after a flower it's also um for my sister and it's a name that i allowed my daughter to name uh well pick for the first of our beautiful whimsy nature themed babies um i would absolutely love her to have another one um which is why i will probably try that out today but a few things have happened since our last episode. Um, we are still in the 32 tiles for the micro home. But I did get to rearrange it a little bit. I have added, um, added a lot more landscape as well. And of course I've had her working so hard on the knitting. Because I was thinking she could sell her homemade knitted products as well. But you can also knit toys here for kids as well. We've got this cute little um, cactus and llama. Um, now... It's not meant to be um, a toy, but, you know, it's so freaking cute. And I kind of wanted it. It has a cactus in it as well, so it's kind of like a plant. And because we're supposed to be a plant parent, we're supposed to have plants 
inside our home, not just outside our home. So let's go and have a look in the house. We have managed to keep the cow plant alive. We are going to be celebrating our first major holiday tomorrow. So I said this was going to be a perfect episode. It's also it's Harvest Fest and it's going to be Little Lily's um birthday as well. So she's going to be uh, turning, I'm going to say four. So she's going to be a toddler. And of course then we will have um Lex's and our beautiful um Daisy's birthday in a couple of weeks as well. So we're going to be having Winterfest and I'm hoping our Winterfest, yeah, our birthdays are after Winterfest. So I'm hoping Winterfest will be celebrated with the birth of a new baby. Daisy has unlocked the close-knit lifestyle. She actually lost her outdoorsy lifestyle because obviously with the weather being so bad, she's been inside a lot. So we have the technophobe in progress and we've lost this, our outdoorsy trait, but we will get it back because as the kids get older and that we will sp probably spend a lot more time outside when the weather picks up. Um, But on the cloudy days and stuff like that, we're given little Daisy... Well, she was having a little nap outside. Are you okay, my love? Um, awake and sad. Okay, she did not want to wake up. So I'm thinking it's time that mum gives her some cutesy cuddles and we just kind of make her feel a little bit better. Um, I also updated their, all of their wardrobes as well. We gave Daisy a more kind of um, warmer kind of nature vibe look. So I gave her some sunflower tops and bottoms and... Um, I did her hair where it grew out a little bit and she's got more of the mom uh, style. Um, anyone who knows our little Lily got this where she needs to be um, in familiar surroundings. So I think waking up on mum's lap is one of the best ways for her to wake up. Um, we've not done a lot of yoga lately, but with the birth coming up soon, well not the birth, the birthdays coming up soon, um, mum could, you know, potentially, it's a comfort baby as well. Um, okay, and anyone who knows that Bullseye is an elder, Bullseye will not have as long in the series as the rest of them, but we're going to enjoy every bit of it. Um, Lex, you need to go and take care of this cow plant, seeing this is mm. your one obsession lately. Our little greenhouse is like it's got loads of stuff uh, plants in it and stuff we do the supercell to make sure we keep having money coming in but at the same time it is very very um unorganized okay all right i don't know why they're not growing but here i moved the house a little bit we put some plants up on the wall um i gave we finally tiled the bathroom i thought it was time that we tiled the bathroom so Daisy talked Lex into it and the two of them managed to get a cute uh, pattern for the bathroom and we tiled it with some cute, cute kitty cats and that. I know, like, why not go for, um, you know, uh, doggos, but I couldn't find any doggo um, tiles. So we went for the cat tiles and uh, Daisy made this um, and it's, it's, it's perfect for this challenge. I've had her upgrading. As well so our handiness has actually maxed let's put some, uh, the toilet self cleaning Um, it's almost Lily's birthday so Lily's birthday is tomorrow the one thing we don't have is an attic decoration box Um, so I think we might invest in that today because it's harvest fest tomorrow Um, Rua all right mommy who is Rua okay Hey Daisy, I think I have a crush on Tamax Colette. Do you think it's worth her? Oh my god, yes dear, go for love. She's all about this happy, you know, like child and that. So I think, you know, um, how is that girl doing? She is angry from being put down. Um, she'll need to go to the bathroom soon. I think mum should feed her after we upgrade. Um, actually, wait. Dad and baby don't spend a lot of time together. So he's home from his little gardening job. You know, he only gets 161 simoleons for his job. So like, it's not too bad. Okay, let's um, let's go and can, where's the option to give her a bottle? Smart. All right, let's just go talk to baby. She needs a bottle, so give her a bottle. Um, baby care, feeding, 
bottle feed. We don't have a high chair, so we can't try her on baby food. Um, that definitely will be an option we need to do. Daisy has finished installing the sink upgrade. Okay, so Dad's going to give her a bottle. Um, oh, well, Daisy is so happy. I did give them an oven in the end, and I'm, we're going to have to upgrade it so it's eco-friendly as well, because we did have an inspector out who said that we had equipment that was not um, up to the eco standards, um, which was a little weird for me. We did have to, of course, move little Bullseye's bed outside, but he sleeps inside on this chair, so I'm not too worried about any of that. Um, special connection. Dad, have you fed our little girl yet? Once you have her fed, you're going to have to, I think we'll give her a bath. Did you know you could click on the sink and actually give the, like, clean your infant or toddler up? Um, I did not know that. So, we're going to get him to give her a little bubble bath after he has fed her. And then we are going to, of course, put little Lily to bed and then probably have some mum and dad time. He has gotten the close-knit lifestyle as well because we live in a little tiny home and we're always going to be together and things like that. So I think it's really, really cute. Cow plant is actually surviving, so I'm not even worried about our cow plant. We do have some plants that need to be involved. And our girl, we're going to actually have to do something soon. Um, we are, have we actually forgotten about some of our skills? Our handiness is full level 10! We still have to get up to fabrication and, of course, our wellness. Where is wellness? Wellness is still level 5. So we're going to have to work on that a lot. And we still need to finish off our aspiration. I managed to collect uh, stuff from the insect farm three times. I have to create four more candles. And we have to get up to level 7 in the master fabrication skills. Oh, look at these cutes. Look at these cutes. I did hang up Dad's paintings, all the paintings that he's been doing. I did hang them up. Um, so we've got, like, of course, the first one he painted was of the cow plant, his little friend. Um, then we've got Mum playing with Bullseye. And then we've got, of course, little Lily lying down next to Bullseye. So, oh, Mummy's giving him some scratchies. Oh. I absolutely hope. Ask, find out what's wrong with um, Bullseye. Alright, you need to actually, you know, put Lily in the crib. Thank you. Um, greener world from doing green activities. Okay, we're going to have to... Alright, this bottle will have to be recycled in the recycle bin. Alright, you're going to find out what's going on with Bullseye. Alright, okay, Bullseye, you need to go outside and pee. So because she did leave him... Um, with her parents um, when she left the home um, so we're going to have to we're going to try this as well once babe's asleep okay um, and they're going outside to talk what's happening it's okay it's okay sweetie maybe we should have mum soothe her to sleep because she seems really fussy let's soothe her and we'll give her a kiss goodnight as well um, so I'm trying to get them all to kind of, you know, have um, the same interactions with them. But because mum does spend an awful lot of time with her lovely little baby Lily, um, I would understand why she would prefer mum. Okay. Um, why can't we do this? I've moved the bed out so that they could do it. Um, oh, look, she's so, she's yawning. Are you okay? Crying infant. The world would be so much without the crying. With the crying, would just stop. Ooh, 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 ooh! Stinky diaper. No wonder she's crying. Can we change that diaper, please? Why is it doing this to me? Let's just change her little cute, 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 cute. Let's change diaper. It's her birthday tomorrow, and it's our first harvest fest, and I kind of want them to celebrate properly. Um. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, my love. How about you come in here and get something to eat? We do have a lot of, um, you know, homegrown products as well. Um, so there's, oh, we're going to have to clean up some spoiled food. Okay. How about you prepare a garden or fruit salad? What do you think? 
Uh, okay, it's in this one. All right. So Lex is clearing out the spoiled food. Awesome. And we are going to make something from because we do have the simple life. Uh, trait on this so we're going to create garden salad because we don't got to pay for it so there you go for free all right we keep all of the poops as well for um, fertilizer um you're fine these are all fine all right is there a reason we cannot get to the bed is the lamp the reason oh, i downloaded um custom cartons they've got you know foxes and rabbits and stuff on it uh let's see if they can sleep on the bed at least um let's find out if bullseye is okay see because it's it's starting to get like really really crowded now um all right okay let's uh fill this bowl as well of food um you know we don't actually have a lot of room to do um a lot bullseye is looking sad a hug or treat might cheer him up oh bullseye well look lex you need to bond with bullseye as well uh, so let's give him an, um, where's the option to hug? Uh, is there no option for hug? More options, praise. Okay, maybe mum has to do the hugging. Friendly, oh yeah, yeah mum can only do the hug. Um, Lex, you come in now, please, and grab a serving because you're hungry. And then I actually really want to see what's going on with, um, you go give him a hug, girl. Pop this in the fridge as well. Can we actually upgrade our fridge any further? Um, upgrade. Okay, so we have the reinforced door. Um, we need some more kit upgrade parts. Okay, that's fine. We will definitely get that. Give Bullseye a big treat. That should be unfriendly. Give him a treat. And let's see if we can do some extra thingamajiggers with the Mr. Lexi Wexy. Okay, can you actually just uh, go to the bathroom, please? Are they chatting? Or are they going to actually be able this time? I know I have a lot of plants. We have a lot of plants indoors now. Over the bed, in the kitchen, in the corner. I did download a mod that would help me fit a lot of uh, stuff in um, on counter space. So we're just using one counter and it's covered in plants and we've got some stuff up in the fridge. Um, so it didn't say I couldn't use BB move objects. I went over the rules again. It didn't say we couldn't use BBB move objects on it. So. Okay. All right. Okay. We're doing move moves. All right. So my diaper apparently is not very. Oh, look. See, he sleeps by Lily's crib. Oh, isn't Bullseye like the sweetest freaking dog ever? Um... No protection was used. Okay, thank you. Days just became acquaintances with Rainy. Who's Rainy? How did you just become an acquaintance with a dog when you're nowhere near the dog? Okay. Right, we're sleeping. Alright, the poop. Alright, okay. Actually, we'll keep the poop in our inventory. So we made a poof and we've got loads of stuff up on the store we've got this cute little llama llama i need to find somewhere to put the llama um could we put you here next to the lamp yeah awesome the lamp we can just move out a little bit there we go okay yeah no it's easy to take it up too many uh squares oh they're fine the way they are Oh my god, yeah, we got this cute little, um, you know the way we have this, well, you can actually, once you reach a certain skill in knitting, make a cozy for your mailbox. Now, I don't think you can actually use this as a mailbox. Can you? Oh my god, you can? Oh, wow. 
you know what? I'm going to actually let her donate this mailbox to a charity because of the fact that we, you know, we're awesome. Um, she's not even sleepy. What's this? New baby from birth. Oh, we still have that yolk. Okay. Um, so Lex is like, I really want to start have a bigger family. Um, so that's why they tried. And then tomorrow's Harvest Fest as well, so... Before I go any further, let's get that decoration attic box so they can decorate. I don't know if we still... Oh, I forgot we made another shelf. Oh my God, have I got anywhere to put this? We... Alright, let's see if it fits. Oh my God, it fits here. It fits here. Oh, we can pull her fabricated lamp up there. Oh, that's so freaking cool. I don't know why we have so many carrots in our inventory. That one's a puzzler. Um, all right, we'll move you over a little. Can I take one of the plants off here and pop her up here? Oh my god, I can. There we go. We got more plants. Okay, awesome. So, like, a lot of things I want to do because she will be a child soon. Well, she won't be a child until after they are in adulthood, and I can upgrade from a micro home to a tiny home. Yeah, from a micro to a tiny. And that's an extra couple of squares, which means a bedroom. A bedroom for kids. For the kiddos. Mommy, mums, why are you still in the bed? Can we get up and go to the bathroom? Are you stuck? I think she is stuck because it's not even telling me she's asleep. So we're going to have to kind of hitch a reset on mum. If it would let me. Babe's awake. So reset mom. Up we go. Alright, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's get Lily sorted. Let's change her diaper and we can put her back to bed. Okay, so I got kind of a little bit stuck. So I just kind of tried to reset. And I, I got the attic box because I remember I went out of the build mode without getting it. So I got it. And I maybe was able to rearrange some stuff here. And I bought a different type of crib. It's the one that you get to upgrade. So it can be a toddler bed. But you can also fit. Look. A baby mobile. And I forgot we could do stuff like this. So for some reason. Baby's nappy's been changed. But she needs to be cleaned up. So I've got mum doing that after her bathroom break. Dad is going back to bed. But dad has work in the morning. So I can kind of. you know, I can do this. Uh, but you know. Baby is. Can't reach from short arms, feeling grubby. Um, how dare you put me down? The warmth and comfort is absent, and now it feels like the end of the world. But she still likes the whole. Um... Alright, so mum's upgrading that, and then mum is going to give. Okay, we're going to have to repair this. Oh my god, stop. Okay, thank you. Alright, okay, so after she repairs that, she is going to give that beautiful little baby girl a bubble bath. And then we're going to put her back down for a nap because baby gets grumpy. When she turns into a toddler, we can actually upgrade it to a toddler bed. So that's actually why I changed it because the other one was a travel one, which you bring with you if, you know, like if we go camping and stuff like on a holiday. But because we live in the countryside and we've got our we're starting to build ourselves a beautiful suburban home um yeah i'm hoping i'm actually doing a suburban home properly with a little flower garden in the front i will i think we need to give it a little bit of a path out but for now i think it's going okay because the bedroom will they'll have a bedroom of their own soon enough um we'll have a bedroom and a bathroom and parent bedroom upstairs. What's wrong? Okay, is this in the way? Because you know, you know, it's always been in the way. All right, thanks, Dad. Let's um. Do you know what? Because Bullseye is so old, Dad's up now. Let's bring him for a a medium walk, okay? Um, that way, Mom can get little Daisy down. Sorry, little La little Lily down. Um, for, oh yeah, I gave little shark fins. I love it. Um, oh, we did get another tattoo, guys, as well. Um, 
once I have found it, I will show you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we not clean up baby? I asked you to give her a bath. I did actually ask you to give her a bath. Please. Oh, what the frack. Okay, if you can't give her a bath, then you can clean her up. I'm moving this outside. No. no, 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 no. You cannot say that. Is it the toilet? Is it the toilet? Clean her up in the sink then. Oh my god. It's going to really freaking annoy me now. Okay. It is Harvest Fest. Awesome. Okay, let's put up decorations. Yeah, I don't like them. I really don't like them. Did you just do that again? What are all these little things? We have gnomes in the house. Put the gnome out. Okay. Please just clean up Lily. She needs to be cleaned. Stop. Okay. Okay. It worked. It worked. I'm not even going but like I'm going to try and appease the norms. I think I've only got two norms at the moment. I hope I only have two norms. I Oh, for the frick. Oh, what's wrong? Then go to sleep, my sweetheart. Okay, please don't use your diaper. <gasps> Alright, we're just going to have to soothe her to sleep and tell her a story if we can. Alright. Okay, she's asleep. She's asleep. Never mind, Mum. Leave her alone. Um, okay, we've appeased the gnomes. Can we go and scavenge for parts now here, lady? Because you're starting to really annoy me with your attitude and not wanting to do what I asked you to do. Okay? Um, then we're going to select the holiday decorations because I do not like the ones that popped up. Okay? Um... I'd like the dangly lights, but I want them in the the nice colours. Can we not just put banners and that's everywhere? Can we just put banners? Because I don't want uh, lights. That's extra energy bill. I know it's weird for me to say this, but I just I, I just want the banners. We get seeds, don't we, from We get seeds from the gnomes, don't we, when we appease them, right? Yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> Answer my own question. Not great. Okay, so last part for the spin spindles is the same. So we have that for everything. And leave baby alone. Leave baby alone. Um, she's fine, she's sleeping. You're sleeping, right? You don't look like you're sleeping, my love. That's not you sleeping. Go night night. Okay. All right, mom, you're doing all of this for me. That's good. You can go grab yourself some uh, garden salad. No, this actually if infuriates me so much. Right, where is the leftovers? Right, oh my god, I'm getting so infuriated right now. What did we get? We got some seasonal summer plants. Awesome. More seasonal summer plants. Can I move them somewhere away from the front? Okay. Alright, there we go. They're away from the front. Um, we only got two gnomes. Okay, two gnomes this year. What's our first harvest fest? So awesome. Okay, so she's hungry and tired and wet. Okay. 
Right, when you're finished eating that, all power will be turned off for the next 12 hours. Hopefully you've planned ahead. Okay. Um, can we get out of the uncomfortably wet clothes or is that just not an option for us? Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, she's eaten. Okay, so the power power conservation day. So all of the power is off till nine o'clock tonight, and we have to cook a grand meal. Okay, baby's actually finally asleep. Um, I don't know. It's, all right, let's have a look here. I need to take her out of the wet clothes so she's not uncomfortably wet anymore. But I'm having like a brain fart. Never mind. I was having a brain fart. And it wasn't working. I cheat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This game is aggravating me today. Um, there we go. Now we are out of it. Thank you so much. Because we can't do that. Now we've completed two parts of it. Are you still out walking? Okay, you have to come and appease a gnome. Oh wow, we can't appease the gnome together. Give respect and gifts to the friendly gnomes and knows that to participate by gnomes and click on the peas gnomes. I did two of them. How am I? Um, okay, girl, you must have got what you needed from this. So let's, uh, actually, no, don't, don't recycle it. Put it in your inventory. Uh, we can use it on the fabrication, well, the recycle machine. Um, okay, okay, okay. Is there anything else we can do today? Um... Can we upgrade any more of our stuff? Auto soap dispenser, um, washer recycler. Okay, can we upgrade this? Self cleaning. Um, super flush composting container. Okay, all right, okay, this is pretty cool. Can we do anything with the insect hotel today? We need to feed our crickets. Um, I think you need to come home um, because, unfortunately, you're hungry. Uh, unfortunately, do you hear me? Get leftovers. But um, it also means, Knox, hey, I heard you became friends with Lily Whimsy. Obviously, she's my wife. Oh, my daughter. She's pretty cool. Uh, thanks, Knox. How do you know my daughter? We've not introduced anybody to them. Okay, so these are doing okay. Awesome. Have we anything? Okay, so I think we're running. Um, so we'll harvest strawberries off this one, harvest um bell peppers off this one. Um, we're gonna need more mushrooms because uh we need to make two mushroom steaks today. Um, so you can do that, and then. Girls upgrading, feeding crickets, and we can't upgrade that yet. But we will be recycling from our inventory. So let's recycle. Uh, poop. And this. Uh, yeah, we kept the travel cart because it's going to be handy for when we're out and about. And oh! Oh, yay, 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 yay. Okay, he can do this. Um, He's like an alien sim, so... Future cube. Let's try on the future cube. So, I only ever know what to appease this guy with because I've had him a few times and I know, like, a toy always does him because he's like a big kid. Um, Ooh, we've got more... Ooh, we have winter plants. Oh, that's actually really cool. Um, will we put them in his or hers? Oh, we're getting a call. We're getting a call. We're getting a call. You won't believe it. Max Claire is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. Oh, yay! We're being a matchmaker. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Oh, love you. You, you deserve happiness. You deserve happiness. Oh, God, I'm so happy. I don't even remember who the person is, but you deserve happiness. Phrase. 
or I thought it was him <laughs> I was like is he actually coming by okay so we're doing like little bits around the place and we've got Lex on his way back to do little things well I thought we had him on the way back but he's still out walking okay so did we do all of our upgrades okay I thought we did but you know what we actually really need to go to the bathroom as well and it's giving me an option to take a pregnancy test as well so will we find out on harvest fest if we are pregnant can we pop you in here thanks <clears throat> um okay after she's upgraded i let her use the bathroom because she really needs to go but we will of course take a pregnancy test um lex i think it's time you came back let's return home okay okay Okay, girl. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, sit back down. Oh, okay. Defeats the purpose because you're just going to go back to use a, a test thing in the jigger. Okay. 15 simoleons. Okay, that's really cheap for a pregnancy test. Okay. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, yes, yes, yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Lex, come home. <laughs> come home. Okay. Well, oh, we had a little doggy emoji here. Come on. Nice outdoor walk from the outdoors lifestyle. And he's happy from the great outdoors. We're going to start getting Daisy to bring little Bullseye for a walk as well. Because it's going to help as well with us getting back her outdoorsy lifestyle. Hi, pupper. You got 161 on the holiday. Aww. Give kiss. Oh, no, wait. Bullseye sleeping. Bullseye is sleeping. Is this still fresh? Okay. Okay. I like the fact that I put a shelter out here. Otherwise, we'd be fixing this the whole time. All right, Lex. Have you got the yolk where you have to appease a gnome? Hmm? Okay. I'm letting you appease this gnome. And I said, future cube. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bess. Chat with Bess. Okay. Extinguish the fire. Hello, my love. Oh, Bess. Hi, Bess. Do you wish you looked as happy as I... Okay, here, I'll donate you one simoleon. Thank you. Yes, she feels happier for helping you. Okay, awesome. Uh, fancy soap from an upgraded sink. Okay. Um, can we upgrade any more? Yeah, sturdy faucets. Can this bathtub be upgraded? That's what I want to know because you made it. Hmm, that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, I actually thought that little bullseye slept in the chair. So, right. So you know what? Um, all right. What's this one? Thankful spirit, and we have him doing these now. Did it work? Okay, I know you are so tired. I know you're so tired. You went for a, wa a long walk with our wonderful, wonderful bullseye. Um, we are getting seeds galore here from our beautiful gnome friends. So add one more gnome to the mix and we'll get some more seeds. Because then we'll have plants for all, every, every season. There we go. Yay! Awesome, dude. Awesome. Now, did you eat? You did. Okay, so we're going to have you go to the bathroom. And you know what? How about you go and have a nap? And. Okay, I need you to go tell him. Okay, Lex, I took a pregnancy test, pregnancy test this morning. And, oh my God, we are, we are expecting. We are expecting. Um. Sure, doing news. Okay. Why is there a paternity test thing? Why was there a paternity test thing? Okay, I don't really like this mod anymore. Um, go share the big news with him. Seriously. Oh, well, of course Lex is happy. He's like, he wants to grow his family. 
Oh my god, it's so, I'm so freaking happy right now. It's unreal. So happy. Okay, so I like this you are right, makeup and breakup. Paternity testing. Well, obviously he... Alright, I don't like that one. Worry about putting on baby weight, talk about baby room decoration, organize to provide for the baby, off to go to early parenting classes, express relief over healthy birth, um, enthused about pregnancy, ask to accompany to abortion. Ask if Daisy put... Uh, put I don't know, you like Hi! Can we keep these gnomes? I can't remember, it's been that long since I've done Harvest Fest properly in um, Sims 4. So, but we are getting so many seeds and I'd love if we could keep these gnomes. Okay. Let's sing together. Okay. Why has she got the broken marriage thing on it? That's annoying. Oh, we're running low on upgrade parts as well, so... Ah! Oh my god, that terrified me! Lily is very hungry. Yeah, go feed baby, feed baby, oh my god! Well, this, you're meant to be like the parent who parents and thinks of her child 24-7 and... You're a happy life because you've got all the kids that you want and you're building your dream home and you've got your beautiful garden and here we are and we forgot about our baby. And it's her birthday! Oh, frick. Frick, 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 frick. Can we actually cook a cake? Cook. Can we actually cook a cake? Oh my god, we cannot. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to have them all take a nap and they're going to have like one of these um late night jokes. Okay, finally we can bake the freaking cake. Dad, get up. You've slept long enough. We still have a gnome in the house. Go away. Thank you. Right, it's still Harvest Fest. I want her to have her birthday on Harvest Fest. You all need to stop. Okay. Our funds are getting short low as well, so we're going to have to do some freelance work. But right now, Mum is baking the cake. And Dad, what are you doing? Dad, what are you doing? Are you just standing there doing nothing? Oh, my computer just doesn't want him to do anything. Just, yeah. Um, what if we were to wake up this beautiful little girl here and um, get her into some nice little closey wozies And um, why are you whinging again? I just filled your bowl, bullseye. Okay. So let's um, lift her up. So we got her little dollhouse and a teddy bear and some uh, blocks for her. Alright, which I'm gonna have. How are you still sleepy? Okay. Mom is baking. Mom is baking for her birthday. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Oh, for the love of God, I know you're tired. But mom is pregnant and she is baking a cake. So let's cuddle up, we'll cuddle baby babes. Alright, and I think Bullseye maybe has glutton, like he's a glutton, or he's a big eater, or something. Um, just give me... Okay guys, you're going to notice that this episode is picking up, like, literally out of nowhere, and it's a couple of days after the other one, but... Uh, the game file crashed for the the part of where we aged up Lily and we moved some stuff around to make it a little bit more accessible to things. So all of the gardening stuff is at the back and then I just turned this area here into play area, paint area, 
plant area it's like every sort of area um so a lot happened in the game file that crashed so i said i was gonna just pop this into it because um our girl is on her final trimester and it has question marks on good birth so if this episode is a little extra long it's literally because the other part of it crashed and i think you've missed out on way too much with the part that's gone and i cannot get it back and i had saved the game so we can't get it back but we're here okay so little lily she aged up and we've gone oh okay we've also had to bring little um bullseye to the vets um give him vet treat um and we've had treatments there as well we're gonna have to give him a bath as well because he is grubby and we are in all right what part of our trimester are we in right we're going to give birth any minute and this is how many days have gone by because we've been doing a lot of stuff with bullseye he's only got one day left and i feel like we've not spent an, an overly vast amount of time with bullseye and i know bringing a dog in so late into the series i know i was asking for trouble when i did it um unfortunately i did it for the storyline okay after you bath and um, bullseye then we're gonna have to go feed him the ball and stuff actually you know what lex you're just standing staring at um our beautiful little lily so you go and fill bullseye's um bowl while we give him some baths and stuff so like i know like bullseye's not been with us for too long um i'm sorry about that but you know like we do get to spend some time at bullseye sorry guys i'm just going to be taking little screenshots of him as well as we go along so a lot of our stuff now is actually stuff that you know daisy has built this is the bathtub that was made by daisy um which is awesome we need to get some more upgrade parts so we can actually upgrade a lot of the things as well I had to remove the cooker top because we couldn't um, actually bake or anything. So we did that. Um, I moved all of the plants here. I rearranged this here. And I kind of like, um, I did remove the glass, um, the glass panes because it was very hard to try and get in and do the planting. So I left the beams there and of course the roof. And that way we can actually still get in and, and I put little bullseye's bed right in the middle for the cold nights when he wants to be outside but doesn't want to get wet. Our girl, did you pee yourself? How is bullseye? Bullseye is very, very happy now. He's had his bath and mum is going to be like literally giving special smoochies. And let's see, is there anything else we have to get to know about him? So, um, but mom is like, I know for a fact, she's going to be so sad when he goes, it's, you know, it's going to be devastating. Bullseye is the first pet. Uh, I do want her to take some pictures of him, like Instagram. That's one way for us to get pictures of him. I know we can invest in a camera as well. And we can, of course, you know, get some very, very beautiful pictures. I'm sorry guys it's very warm today and I am very very thirsty because of the weather okay make sure you guys are all hydrating this time of year and also make sure please please make sure um that you are wearing sunblock I, I'm very bad when it comes to sunblock because I'm always kind of like well like, I live in Ireland and you know it's not always sunny here but you know um, apparently, you know, the sun is always coming true and I was always very silly not to know that or to care about it. But now I am because I've got sun damage. Um, okay, so like, girl, can you go get some food? Um, thank you. And then go to bed after that. Um, you are doing okay in your job, aren't you? You're in work in three hours. Okay, can we get you to go and have something to eat as well? We've got lots of fruit salad. Okay, so let's have a look at our girl's um, things that were meant to write. So we are on, she's to get to level 10 in the fabrication. 
which we already got to level eight in the the part that I can't find. And the 20 candles, we have two of the 20 made and we have to complete five gigs as a freelance crafter. I think I already said I did. We have to make two more of the cylinder candles. So once she's had some sleep, we will get her to go ahead and make another cylinder candle. I'm just going for basics with her because I don't think we need any more than basics. We have a sunny but cold day um, today for Sunday. A beautiful little Luz is asleep and now of course is Daisy. Um, Lex, you are fine for work and things but you're still going to have to do the basics. Like go to the toilet. Um, we have a lot of trees and that too <laughs> Um Unfortunately, he does all of the gardening because he is in the gardening profession. And our girl at the moment hasn't been able to do a lot of that because, you know, herself. Like, she's she's pregnant. I cannot wait. To, I know there's a part of the the pregnancy of Muhubad that I have where we can... Get, just want to mute my phone there, guys. Um, We still have to get... All right, we have level 10 handiness. Awesome. Level 8 fabrication and we have level 6 wellness. We have to max them. And of course we have to max um the master maker as well. Ooh, we've got loads of pears. Our grow fruit tr fruit tree is doing awesome back here. Well, harvest harvestables. Um just seeing as you are up, can we just go get you to harvest one pear tree? Right. Will we go to work or work from home today? We'll work from home today. We have to gift a crop to someone. So we will gift a crop. I'm going to ask him to gift a pear, of course, to my beautiful Daisy. Um, did you go and harvest this, please? Um, okay, we're done. I only wanted him to harvest off this tree. Okay, so let's go and supercell everything if we can. Okay. Uh, super sale all right we're that's how we're getting our money all back up as well but I'm also kind of like at this phase where I'm like oh my god you know uh, gift a crop so pick a fresh fruit and veggie from your garden then click on the same and select give gifts from the friendly category all right so like um we're at this part in the game where they're going to age up we cannot upgrade from a micro to a tiny home until Daisy is in her adult years, even if Lex goes in before her. But because she does get like pregnant, obviously, it does um kind of like freeze her aging, if you know what I mean. Just like with Lex, um, he shouldn't be aging up uh, four days before her. He should only be aging up one day before her, but he's aging up four days before her. Um... Alright girl, we're gonna get you up. Um is our little Lily, how is she doing? Little Lils needs to go to the bathroom and the one thing I did not invest in for her is a potty. Oh I move I put a, a door out the back as well. So they have a front and a back door at the moment. And the reason I'm doing this is is because when we can upgrade the house, um what I have in the bottom, like with the, the sitting room, well, there's no sitting room. We have a conjoined bedroom for the parents and, of course, baby uh, for our toddler. And we're going to have a baby soon as well. So we are running out of space, um, which means I will probably have to do the whole shrinking of the bathroom again and move this into the kitchen. Um, but the reason of this is because we are running out of space for um, kiddos because... You know, she's going to be a kid soon and we don't have space for her. So we're going to have to reassess, reassess some things. Okay, so we've got, can we get you in like a wooden thing where it looks like mum made a potty for you? Okay, all right, okay. So where can I put the potty? Um, I want to say I can put it there so she can use potty along with mum and dad but the problem is that might not work so much okay so can we 
All right, so I kind of move it to about here. On this rug here, our little woman Daisy actually knitted that. And I know it's not part of it as well, but I kind of want her to max the knitting, the knitting skill because we can make toys and stuff for uh, the Babarunu. Okay, we got that. Um, missing out on dreams. Oh, okay, I don't know what that's about. It's probably a mod I have. I don't know which mod it is right now. Okay, so Lex is doing all of this. He gets to be out outside the whole time. And this is what he thinks is. Okay, girl, I actually have some stuff for you. Are you able to use this potty? Oh my god, yes. You got... The, oh, right, she aged up with the independent um, trait. So as you can see here, our beautiful Lily, she is actually going to be... Um, Will she be the next gen? I don't... I can't remember if it was the first or the second gen... In the second gen, if it was, you know, do you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Um, I can figure it out because she's just a toddler right now. They're all toddlers. They're all kids and others are just ba a baby in the belly. So, um, I do want Daisy to spend a bit more time with the gardening and stuff like that because we lost our outdoorsy uh, trait and I don't know how we lost it. Are we in winter? It's the first day of winter? Oh my god, they're going to get to celebrate their first winter fest soon. Hold on, let me have a look. How's it your birthday tomorrow? We just aged you up. I'm confused. How is she going to be a child to... So she's going to be a child before her first winter fest. Like, is that even a thing? I don't know. That's, this is just confusing to me. Okay. So, apparently, it's her birthday again tomorrow. That can't be right. It really cannot be right. Um. So, I have lifespan now on short. Is that why? Oh, she's cold. Why? Why, why, why? Why is she cold? Uh, because we don't have any, like, heat sources. Um... Can we get you changed into a warmer outfit? I have a feeling they're all going to be in their warmer outfits. Because we don't actually have... Why have you not gone to pet the cow? Okay, well then I'll just move this out of the way. What? Alright, Lex, what is your deal? What is your deal? Fine, okay, I'm moving this over here. Can you actually go and feed the cow now? Why? What's happening? Is it because he's a uh, little, you know, like the little cow thingy is now in plants? Hasn't he always been in plants? Alright, okay, so I'm going to have to put BB Move Objects on again. Okay, how about now? Okay, so, alright, feed the cow now. Thank you, feed your little cow plant. Okay, we don't want it to die. We've literally kept it whole, oh, alive for your whole lifespan of relationship, marriage, and, you know, baby number one, and, sorry, we have a toddler now, and then you have a baby coming too. And we have this little play area here that I made for little Lily. And of course, like any other kids that they're going to have. Okay. We've got our sec. Or right, you need to go to the bathroom, my dear. Let's go. Off you pop. Um, okay. So, knitting, she's at level 8. And fabrication, 8. Wellness, 6. And fabrication. Sorry, I am like... Fabrication, where are you? Okay, eight for fabrication, eight for knitting, but wellness is six. Handiness is maxed out, so we've already completed one of the challenges. I'm actually gonna, like, once, uh, what's going on here? Craving rich food. Okay, so I kind of do let her go and she can spend a bit of money on her cravings because of the fact that she is pregnant and it's the only time really that we will actually let her give in to her craved food and it's only 10 simoleons so like we cannot give out too much about it um when she comes back though i will 
get her to do some yoga actually we've not done yoga in a while oh we can only do pauses we can't practice yoga might pop this over here so she can be doing yoga while a little uh, Lily is playing. She can only do pauses on this. All right. Days can't do this while pregnant. So there, like a lot of them she can't do while pregnant. Okay, so maybe we should just move the mid. Oh, Rue is back again. Hey, you've got pretty good taste. Will you come to the flea market with me? Oh, I'd love to, but I'm pregnant and I am just not in the form to be um, doing things like that. I'm going to pop this here. Do you know why? I want Mr. Lexi Mexi to do a reference painting. Um, when you come home, I'm actually going to have you meditate beside our little girl, Lily. Okay? Just meditate. Okay, Lex, why aren't you doing this? Okay, what did I do? Okay, I did it near. All right, so how about over here? Can you do it here? Paint reference small. Okay, can you do it now? Thank you. There we go. Our girl got her craved food. Um, What's happening? Oh, I keep forgetting about this, to be honest. Um, So I think we can take like a, you know, the way our house pretty much is before all of the major changes like where we go from we used to have a micro home and then you know like we had the micro home for a very long time we raised our first um our first daughter and i don't know what the baby is right now so we raised our first two children because it's gonna be like um, see, i don't think we have anything bigger like, as in, we wouldn't be able to shuffle this around enough for there to be any more than one more baby for now. So, yeah, because it's already a struggle with little, just having little Lily. And, all right, so she's happy. Okay, she's emotionally mindful. Awesome. New baby be here soon. Making material from the maker trait. Where did I actually put? The woodworking table. Where did I put the woodworking table? Oh, it's over here. Next to our recycle machine. Actually, I have not checked out the sculpture part of this for a while. A bunny sculpture, dragon, elephant, horse, knife lock, large bear Oh, no, no, okay. There's nothing there I want. Any new furniture? I do want a mirror. We have the bathtub. We have the dining table. We have the dining chairs. We have an end table. We have a garden pot and a garden planter. We didn't do the mirror yet. We don't need a bar stool. I've done two wall shelves. I've done a toilet. And I don't know what the wall hanging thing is, but we're going to try it out. Okay, after you've done a little bit of this. Um, okay, so I want little... De What's wrong with you? She's sleepy. But can we play with... Um, let's play with our beautiful little uh, dog for a while. I do want her to have an amazing relationship because like kids are with pets are so beautiful okay and I want like once all right so once she's done a little bit of huggies we're going to go for a nap because it's too early to go for to bed bed Um, I love all of this trusting the universe from top-notch tray oh there we go oh are you okay dear Are we okay? Mood swing from being sad. Do you know what? Take a break from meditation, sweetheart. Take a break. Um, can you actually give her a gift from the friendly part? And that's your work thing done. It's prank day as well. Oof. Um, affection. Give gift. Friendly gift. Let's give her a pair. All right. Okay. You're not going there right now. <laughs> he wants to give you a gift. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um. So, yeah, no, I've been hanging the paintings that he does up in the house because these are our... How we decorate. Like, we've got all of this here. We've got, like, little toddler Lily with her first meal with the high chair. And we've got, like, when she was an infant. And then we've got 
daisy and bullseye and then we've got like of course this beautiful our first uh, cow plant who's still alive i love that so much all right okay maybe we should let you do you want to go for a nap lex you can go for a nap just like little um lily went for a nap and i think bullseye is going for a nap too because bullseye is very old so he'll be napping all the time um i do want her to get as many pictures as she can of bullseye we did get two we got two yeah um we've apples and everything in our inventory <laughs> okay i need to make three more of them but i do want her to go for a nap after we make the wall hang okay Okay, and guys, our girl has got into labour. As soon as I say it, send her for a nap. So I'm going to actually send her to the hospital. She's like, look, it's been, it's my second pregnancy. I really don't need you to come with me. Surge emotion? What is this about? Ah, oh, okay. She's going to go and she's going to have the baby in hospital. She doesn't need any of us to come with her. I like this. I don't remember that one being done. And he, she's going to be like, look, can you just go? Oh, you're going with her? Really? Who's going to have your baby? I have a nanny come to the house. Um, okay, I like this one. When is that one done? Oh, I love that. Oh, we have a boy! Oh my god, we have a boy! Oh, I don't have a name! I don't have a freaking name! I don't know, I thought for some reason it was going to be a girl! Okay, we have a boy. Okay, so Daisy just gave birth to a baby boy. This bo baby needs a name. What would you like to call him? So, obviously, we're going to change the last name. It's Whimsy. Remind me, I have to change Daisy's name because they do get changed over to Reese. Um, because I am bulk recording these episodes, I've not had a chance to check anybody's um, name suggestions. So just bear with me. I need nature themed. Right, okay, okay, okay. So forest is one. And we've got... August, uh, Garnish, Garwood, Hawk, Gideon, which is Hebrew and it means tree cutter. Garnet is French and it means a uh, spear red like a pomegranate. Uh, Garwood from the fir forest, that's English. Hawk is um, falcon or bird of prey. Um, okay, 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 okay. A zebo means earth. Banks means obviously edge of river. Bear, strong, brave bear. Birch, bright, shining like the birch tree. I don't know if I could do that to our little boy, Briar. Brook, badger like. Oh my god, this is difficult. Cliff, coal, colt, Conan. <gasps> Conan! No. Forest. Look, I'm going to go with Forest Whimsy, okay? Um, if you don't like these names, um, I can change at a later date. So this is, of course, we have a boy. Oh my god, so we have a boy and a girl. Oh my god, yes! Okay, we have Forest Whimsy! <laughs> what the? There we got another boy. She had, she, she had freaking twins! Okay, um, Cypress, Crowley, Cove, Cory, uh, Everett, 
Fletcher, Flint, Ford, Forrest. I have Forrest. Uh, Fraser of the Forest Men. Okay, so Forest was for woodsmen, or, so woods, and Fraser is of the Forest Men. Okay, so we are going to go for Fraser. Fraser Whimsy. Oh my God. So how you spell it? F R A S I E R. F R A S I E R. So Fraser and Forest Whimsy. We definitely don't have room. Oh, thank God. I thought they were going to give me a third. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, where? There's forest. See, oh, my God. No way. Like, they gave me two separate cribs. And, and babies are whinging. And, oh, my God. We have nowhere to put them. And our girl has a few days off before she ages up. And she's ecstatic. Look at her. Except for... Okay, so she's already gone into the pre... Alright, okay. This is actually a little bit more legit. Because, you know, fucking hell, these cramps. Um, Frack, frack. I fracking, frack don't have any fracking room. So yeah, okay, so look, I'm actually going to end the episode here because I need to have a little think about what we're going to be doing. And it might be the bathroom will have to be outside. We might have to have an outside bathroom for now. But guys, if you are loving this episode and you are loving this series, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And I will see you all for a very exhausting already episode for the next time with... The two new, two, not one, two new additions to the household, which means we officially do actually have our Gen 2 uh, baby already here from this little Lily. But guys, we'll talk more about that in the next episode. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fabulous day and I shall see you guys in another one. <laughs> Bye!